distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to join you for this dedication to the nation of the Gandhi Heritage Portal. I am very glad that our Ministry of Culture took the lead in making this portal possible. I should mention at the outset, though, that this achievement would not have come about without the hard work put in by our friends like Sri Narayan Desai and many of his Gandhian colleagues, technical experts, scholars, and others at the historic Sabramati Ashram in Ahmedabad. I compliment all of them for what is obviously a labor of love and respect for one of the greatest soul to ever walk this earth. The Gandhi Heritage Portal is a technology-driven initiative aimed at making Gandhiji accessible all over the world on an electronic platform. It aspires to be one of the most authentic open source archives on the life and work and thought of Mahatma Gandhi. I am confident that it will be an invaluable resource for generations to come, especially for the youth worldwide. I have been told that the portal at present provides approximately half a million pages of material in electronic form and that it aspires eventually to place about one million pages of information in multiple languages. Well begun is usually half done, and the Sabramati Ashram trustees have demonstrated this amply in this regard. Ladies and gentlemen, this collection of documents provides great source material on our freedom struggle and captures the triumph and tribulations, the thoughts and visions of an entire generation of freedom fighters led by Bapu. But its true significance perhaps lies in its architecture. I recall the first edition of Gandhiji's Hind Savaraj. On the title page, he printed no rights reserved. He, in many ways, was one of the pioneers of a movement that we can today proudly call the open source movement. And this portal is a befitting addition to that vision. It is a self-evident truth that knowledge has to be an inclusive process, where barriers to learning are systematically dismantled. Only a society that is committed to the free flow of ideas can hope to lead in an age of knowledge. Our government has taken many significant steps in this direction. The National Manuscripts Mission the Digital Library of India, the Variorium on Tagore, and the Gandhi Heritage Portal are all important milestones in this journey. In addition to Mahatma Gandhi's intangible heritage by way of his thought, which embraces all of humanity, we are also conscious of Bapu's tangible heritage and its preservation and promotion. Towards this end, we have recently established the Gandhi Heritage Sites Mission. This mission will go in for professional conservation and management 
of buildings where Bapu stayed and bring together published and unpublished documents, photographs and audiovisuals, among others. Similarly, we are keen that a world-class national memorial should soon come up at Dandi, where, which will inspire the younger generation and expose them to the trials the freedom fighters went through. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, it is the people of India who are the trustees of the heritage of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is not only in our past, he is in our present and will also form a significant part of the future that we want for our country and our people. It is a future free of ex oppression, free of hunger, free of injustice and structural inequalities and violence. It's a future in which all of us are unable to contribute without prejudice and in which all share the idea of an inclusive and just India. Ladies and gentlemen, Hriday Kunj on the banks of the Sabramati is a very special place of pilgrimage. Every time I've gone there to pay my homage to the man who lived in that humble dwelling, I have come back with renewed hope and faith. It is for this reason that I am particularly happy that the Gandhi Heritage Portal has been conceived and developed at the Sabramati Ashram. The ashram is a living proof that a memorial that is alive to the expectations of the nation and is capable of assuming new roles will always retain its relevance in the imagination of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, let me once again convey my good wishes to the trustees of the Sabramati Ashram who have conceptualized and created this portal. Their task has only just begun. Much more remains to be done. In this moment, perhaps they will remember a line, one step enough for me from one of Gandhiji's favorite hymn, Lead Kindly Light. I am sure that Bapu's spirit of perseverance will show them the light and lead them on to many greater steps in their noble task. With these words, I thank all of you for joining me here this evening. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir.